What does it take to get monetized on YouTube? What does it take to be successful when 90% of people that start YouTube fail to get monetized? Today, we're going to look at the one-off expenses, the one-time purchases that you need to buy to become successful on YouTube, as well as the ongoing monthly subscriptions for software that you need to be successful on YouTube. Hello and welcome to Vikings, the place where people come to become rich and live a rich and fulfilling life. If that's the type of goal that you want, then hit that subscribe button. I do this every week where I give you an update on my analytics on my road to monetization on YouTube. But just before I give you the analytics, I go to the home office, I give you the analytics. Before I do that, I give you an update of things that I've done on YouTube, things I've learned and give you advice and things like that to help you on your road to monetization on YouTube. Because let's face it, if you're watching this video, you're probably on the same road as I am for the one-off expenses that I pay for to become monetized on YouTube. Well, first of all, when I started up, I bought this hat for one. Uh, this was, I mean, like just 10 pounds off Amazon or something. That's all it was. Well, this gimbal, as you can see, I'm turning, but the camera is saying, staying horizontal. Having a gimbal is super useful. It stops the shakiness when you are recording out and about on your walk and talks. The gimbal itself, I think, was something around 30 pounds. Again, you can buy this off Amazon. These are not huge expenses. So the gimbal is super useful because I can do this and move around and it stays pretty low. Bought a microphone. I heard it's super important that you must get your sound right on a video. If the sound is not good on a video, then people often turn it off. The brain and the ear just doesn't like listening to it. So they turn it off. The sound quality apparently is more important than the video quality. And to be honest, I would, I would agree, especially with a talking head type channel like I am, where I'm just a head that's talking here. I would tend to agree because I don't need to visually be stimulating to your eyes, but I at least need to be acceptable in your ears. So buying yourself a good microphone is also a really good idea as well. Just to go back to the gimbal, the gimbal itself is also a tripod. So you can stand it up, spread the legs like a tripod at the bottom, and it acts as a tripod as well as a selfie stick, gimbal style selfie stick. So that was the third expense, the microphone. So we've got the hat, the microphone, and the gimbal so far. Hat, not necessary. The other two I do think are necessary. I bought a smart light bulb for my office. As you notice, when I'm in the office, oftentimes there's a blue light bulb behind me. Sometimes it changes, sometimes it's different color. Again, this was another just 10 pounds thing. I wanted to add a little bit more color to the videos, but again, it was a simple nothing one-off payment. It was not a big deal whatsoever. So the one-off payments that you need to pay on YouTube that's it that's all you need a microphone you don't need a camera just use your phone i just use my phone as well just use your phone get a basic microphone because they're more useful than the microphone on your phone camera and help you stop the echo that goes on around in your office or in your home or in the building where you are so those are the one-off payments that i've purchased to become successful on youtube really not much i would love to buy so many more things when i become monetized on youtube when hear me when i say when when i become monetized on youtube the money that i do get from youtube i will put back into the channel i will buy a better gimbal i've got a list of things that i will buy when i become monetized on youtube because i need to reinvest in the channel just to say thank you to everyone all the subscribers to all that money that you've helped me get through the, the advertisement on youtube and the youtube partnership program then i can put that money back into the channel to give you more videos better videos more research and just a better experience when you're watching this channel so those are the one-off payments software what are the monthly payments that I pay for on YouTube? The first one that I signed up for was OneDrive. It was just two pounds a month, OneDrive. That was to help me and save me a lot of time transferring videos from one device to another because it would automatically upload from my phone directly onto my laptop using OneDrive. It saves automatically on OneDrive and moves straight to my laptop on OneDrive. That saves me about one whole night of transferring videos from my phone to my laptop. So for just two pounds a month, that, that was almost nothing. It was such an easy and obvious expense to pay. Pro video editing, I use CapCuts. I signed up for the pro version. Eventually I did sign up for the pro version and I feel it's worth it. I mean, you can do it without it. Admittedly, you can do it without it, but I felt it was worth it because again, the sound quality. For me, the sound quality is extremely important that I get this right for you, the viewers. So you find it, the sound quality acceptable. You don't want to skip off the videos. And on, with the pro version, you do get 
amongst loads and loads of other benefits which were not very important to me although i do use them those were not the reason i signed up for pro the reason i signed up for pro was i could do enhanced voice it enhances my voice and also it removes background noise echoes and things like that because that just would not be acceptable to you as a viewer this is why i signed up for the pro although now i've signed up for the pro i do use a lot more of those benefits like the captions on the bottom the color of the captions the captions are so much better for example but this is not the reason so again if you can get the sound quality right without signing up to pro membership then absolutely fine you could do it for free but for me i signed up for the pro membership on CapCuts for the sound quality CapCuts as of today is 10 pounds a month and for me it is worth that 10 pounds a month to provide a better quality to you so so far we have 10 pounds a month for CapCuts and two pounds a month for the extra storage space on onedrive the next expense that i pay for is Bid IQ. At first, I was like, no, not signing up for Bid IQ. I cannot see the benefit of signing up for that. I cannot see the tangible evidence that will prove that Bid IQ is worth it. So at first, I was like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not signing up. But when I rewatched the Silver and Solo channel, I realized that she had signed up to Bid IQ. I clicked on her link and it gave me a one month trial for one pound, which I thought, one pound, it's worth it. I'll just do it for one month. And I've set a reminder at the end of the month to say, if I do not like this, if it is not worth it, then I will cancel that subscription. However, within the one month, I must admit, it is extremely useful. It is a subscription that I'm going to stay with, and that is going to be actually £20 a month. So that is £20 a month for VidIQ, £10 a month for CapCuts, and £2 a month for the extra storage space. That is £32 per month that I pay for YouTube to create these videos and provide a good video experience. The reason why I'm sticking with vidIQ after using it for just one month is because it's been extremely useful. It's like having an experienced friend just there over your shoulder, looking over everything that you do, saying, yeah, that's good, that's good, yeah, well done. But also going, no, 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 that's shocking. Come on, up your game, sort it out. It also has like lots of videos, tutorials as well. How's it going, man, you all right? The video tutorials are very useful as well. One of the issues that I have myself is that I struggle to be acceptable in my own head before releasing a video, before writing a script. I try to be acceptable and be politically correct and try not to annoy anyone, try to be dry and say the right thing. So for example, I could start writing the script and then I start deleting things from the script that says, no, no, this is not good, this is bad, this is not great, because these people are not going to be happy. I need to be writing a script for my number one fan where Anything that I do will be acceptable. They will be happy. They will love everything that I say. So I can say whatever I want, guilt-free, be happy, unrestricted. And that's a habit I need to get into as well. I need to be more unapologetically expressive on my personality, who I am. So I think this is a positive habit that I'm going to get into. So I would love to get your help as well. There was a video that I published two weeks. It was one of these walk and talks. It was the one month anniversary walk and talk video and it performed really well compared to my other videos. My other videos have been between zero to 200 views, something in that range very consistently, never exceeding 200 views. But the video, I'll put the thumbnail right here. The video, go back and have a look at that for me because I'm racking my brain of why it has received over 500 views, which is way better than any other video that I've published why is that one i cannot figure it out is it the thumbnail is it the intro is it i shouted out a couple of people around the world I, I mean i doubt it would have that much of an impact but is it that what is it i cannot figure it out why that particular video is it because youtube have put an advert in the video i don't get anything for that advert they just choose to do it whenever they want is it that youtube put an advert in the video and they're they're pushing it out to more people I cannot understand and I'm trying to figure it out. So if I can get more brains looking at that video and then can tell me and guide me on what I did right in that video, then I can continue and keep doing it. But I've watched this video so many times trying to figure out what went right in this video. So do me a favor, watch that video and then leave a comment and let me know what went right in that video. What was the reason why I've got so many views? See if you can figure it out because I can't. I'm just a noob at the moment. I'm trying to figure this out and uh, hopefully I can get your help as well. So that's it. That's the walk and talk for today. I've been walking. I've just been stood here giving you beautiful views. But I'm going to go back to the home office now. And I'm going to give you an update on the analytics for this week on YouTube.
Hello, back at home now in the home office. It's time to have a look at the analytics for this week on YouTube. So this week we have another nine subscribers compared to last week. YouTube is good at a lot of things, but doing math is not one of them because last week we had 120 subscribers and this week we have 130. That is not an extra nine subscribers. That is an extra 10 subscribers. So well done YouTube with your mathematics. So that's huge. For the last couple of weeks, I had four subscribers, then I had two subscribers respectively. So now to jump to 10 extra subscribers is a huge jump in the right direction from previous weeks. I know it's not a lot for most people, but for me, that is a lot. I'm absolutely buzzing with 10 subscribers in a week. These days, I do not look at the view count anymore because now I'm publishing YouTube shorts. I do believe that that distorts it and it's not beneficial for the earnings analytics because it's not relevant to the earnings analytics. And this is the road to monetization on YouTube and it's not relevant to that. So now we're going to look at the last 365 days and look at the view count. So last week we were short of 100 watch hours in the last 365 days. As of today, the watch hours is 139.7 watch hours that is by far the biggest jump i've had in one week from memory previous updates were like 12 hours 13 14 jumping up to 20 21 22 now we've actually got 41.3 watch hours for the last week so that is a huge jump in the last week compared to the previous data analytics of previous weeks so this has been the biggest jump although the subscribers i think the biggest week i ever had i had 14 subscribers but admittedly, I knew that was at the start when all your family and friends are interested in what you're doing. So but these now are genuine organic subscribers, watch hours and things like that. So right now, this has been a super, super positive week. The watch hours are almost double my previous best watch hours for the last seven days. And this has been the second biggest increase in you. So I'm absolutely buzzing. VidIQ did set me a challenge when I first signed up to VidIQ less than a month ago and he said your next challenge is to get to 130 subscribers as of just right now as of just moments ago i sat down i clicked on it and i now have 130 subscribers exactly so there you go vidiq i've done the goal that you've asked me to do now we set a new goal to get to 210 subscribers i quite like this because getting to a thousand is such a big jump it could probably put a lot of people off not me, but it could put a lot of people off, but vidIQ, I've broken it down into little sections. So now actually 210 subscribers does feel reachable. I'd love to see that 200 subscriber mark. So let's get into it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It could change my life forever. You just pressing that little button on your screen could literally change my life forever. So please subscribe, watch all the updates. Again, please check out the video from two weeks ago, the update. Why did that video perform well? I've been racking my brain. I cannot understand why that particular video performed better than all other videos. So give it a watch and let me know. Put your feedback in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of why that video, that particular video stood out and got like three times more views than any other video that I've got. Why? 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 Clearly, if stayed to the end of this video, you like this type of content, you are interested in getting monetized on YouTube. If you want to know how I started, I've put my entire video playlist from the day one where the video was terrible. I might add warning alert where the video was terrible from day one to today, all in one playlist. So watch that playlist from the very beginning so you can see how fast I have progressed and how much I've improved from day one until today. So click on this playlist right here so you can watch from the beginning.